In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a color splash effect so that you've removed all of the color in an image. I mean, you make it black and white, and then you just bring color back to a selective part of your image. So um, I'm going to be working on this picture of flowers. Now let me just get rid of the work I've done. Now, in order to actually apply the color effect, um, the first thing we need to do is when you've got your image just as a standard background, so you've just opened your image in Photo Plus, you need to then apply a black and white filter or adjustment filter to the whole image. So click on black and white and everything will go black and white straight away. Now, when you've done that, you've got two little boxes in your black and white filter. This one, which tells you we're doing a black and white filter. And this one is a thing called a layer mask. Now, if you've maybe seen uh, some of my other videos on color adjustment, you might know a little bit about layer masks. But layer masks effectively let you decide by painting and drawing on the mask how much of that um, layer should be seen. In this case, like to what part of the image do we want the black and white effect to apply. Now, in order to change that, in this instance, we actually want to get rid of some of our black and white filter. We use the brush tool and we have to use either black or white um, as our color. Now, if I paint black into, if, as long as making sure I've got this mask enabled, if I paint black, it will actually remove this black and white layer. So if I just make my brush nice and big and start painting, you'll see that color starts coming back into my image. Okay, and for this to work quite well, um, you're gonna want to do a few things. One, you probably want to set your brush to use quite a low hardness setting. If it's very hard, then uh, you'll get very fine, definite lines. So you probably wanna have quite uh, a soft brush. The other thing you're going to need to do is use a lot of zooming. So use your zoom tool and you can click and drag around areas of your image that you want to work on. And you're definitely going to want to be changing your brush size because a massive brush is not going to always work. So you can change the size here or if you want a shortcut, you can use the um, open and close square brackets keys on your keyboard, which are just to the left of your return key. Uh, so the open brackets makes the brush smaller and the closed brackets makes the brush bigger. Now I recommend you start by being, f try and be fairly accurate, but don't worry about getting things absolutely right. So if you end up bringing a bit more colour back into the image than you intended, that's absolutely fine. Because in the same way that drawing with black removes this layer, i.e. it sort of, it means the black and white filter effect is removed, um, if we were to then paint with white, we can add it back again. So you can be quite uh, broad and quite general in your approach to get started, and then you can just apply um, a little bit of neatness afterwards. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say over here, this sunflower is actually uh, maybe part of this bouquet, but perhaps some of this stuff behind isn't. Or maybe we wanted the, in fact, I think the sunflower isn't part of this bouquet, so let's say we want to get rid of it. Well, let's just zoom in on that area again. And actually, you can see there's a lot of haziness around this um, sort of lily as well, so we might want to get rid of that too. So again, using your brush, uh, but this time we want to paint with white. So I can click this little button which switches the two around, or I can press the X key on my keyboard to switch between them as well. Uh, but now that I've selected white in my foreground, if I make my brush a bit smaller again, you'll see that I'm actually now painting my black and white adjustment filter back in. Okay, so you can do the fine detail using a white brush to reapply the black and white effect if you've accidentally put a bit too much color into your image. And once you think you're done, just zoom out of your image and just check for any remaining places that need to be uh, changed. And then you can export your image and you're finished. So that's how to do a color splash using a black and white filter and a layer mask to selectively apply that filter to specific parts of your image.